further ado, let's jump into the top five features that I'd like to see implemented into Fortnite this year. Screen state. Hopefully you're having an awesome day so far. Now today I'll be bringing you guys another Fortnite video today. And this Fortnite video is slightly different to my casual normal Fortnite videos, I guess you could say. And this will be another one of my top five videos that I like to do on certain games every so often. Because it's a nice change of pace to the certain types of videos that I usually make. And since I've also said that I'll be changing my content, this is going to be one of the types of videos that I want to implement to my channel more often for my content. So without further ado, let's jump into my first ever top five video on Fortnite. Fortnite. This is also one of my videos for the North Grind. Even though there's no RC for North going on right now, this video is part of my grind for North. So make sure to comment hashtag North LSP in the comments below. That'll really help me out and just boost my ego just a tad bit every time. So what this video will be on today is the five things that I would like to be implemented into Fortnite this year, 2018. Now since it's the start of 2018, I think this video is the most appropriate for this time at the moment. I think it'd be cool if something on this list got implemented into Fortnite and it'd be pretty cool to say that I thought of that idea even though they didn't use me for inspiration it'd be pretty cool to say that I called it anyway so without further ado let's jump into the top five features that I'd like to see implemented into Fortnite this year the first feature that I'd like to see in Fortnite is actually the feature to go into first person in game now first person has been accessed in Fortnite but I think it was through a glitch or something because the gun doesn't render but it's actually not in battle royale it's actually in the main Fortnite game it was actually in their zombie survival game mode thing that I don't think is anywhere near popular as Battle Royale. But I don't think that game mode is as popular as like the Battle Royale version like by any means. But I got this idea from H1Z1 and PUBG which are actually two other popular Battle Royale games and sometimes it's really helpful to be able to toggle between third person and first person and I think with implementing first person into Fortnite it would kind of help in certain situations when you're indoors or in tight close situations and if you're stronger with FPS's then maybe it would help with you playing the game but nevertheless we aren't struggling without first person in Fortnite right now I've said this before but third person is so much more useful in game using third person you can actually look around corners without poking your head around because in third person you can cling to a wall and then move and just finesse your camera around the corner and that obviously helps a lot to the player so even though first person isn't vital in this game mode and I don't think it'll be missed if it's not I think it would be a pretty cool feature to be implemented into Fortnite my next feature that I'd like to see implemented into Fortnite but Real later this year and that is the option to pick additional maps for the Battle Royale game. As you know, PUBG recently released their second desert map for PUBG Battlegrounds. So this obviously allows players to, to not only play the standard play unknown Battlegrounds map, but also play a completely different and bigger map, which offers a bigger variety when you're playing, and it kind of switches it up, and it gives the game more excitement, tension, and just makes it a less boring because you're not playing the same map over and over. And if they implemented new maps to Fortnite, it'd be really cool. I think it would implement so much more opportunities to the game, but it would also also be fun to play on a map that maybe has more levels and it's more modernized than the classic Fortnite Battle Royale map. Like there could be a map that would take place in a city or a town and I think by adding more maps to Fortnite, obviously they'd have to have the Fortnite theme but I think it could benefit the game and it would make it less boring and more exciting to play. Alright boys, so I'm just sat here editing it right now. I've just finished editing the part where I said it would make the game less boring and more exciting if they added in new maps and I felt like I kind of came across as that I felt the game was boring and not exciting at all. I meant in the simplest way to say that if they added more maps into Fortnite they'd just make it less repetitive in some cases. I don't find the game boring, I'm not insulting the game or I'm not insulting you if you play the game. And yeah, but I just wanted to say that really quick because I didn't want to make it come across like I thought the game was boring. Alright, back to the video. Now my third feature that I would love to see implemented into Fortnite later this year kind of ties into my last feature that I talked about which was adding more maps to Fortnite Battle Royale but I would also love to see the implementation of cars being used in Fortnite. Now obviously with the current map cars wouldn't really work because it's mainly hills and barely anyone uses roads and I just think it wouldn't work as much as it would in certain other games like PUBG for example. But if they added new maps which were more modernised and featured less terrain and less hills and focused more on roads and the landscape was more modernised I guess you could say then I think the use of cars would be a less crazy and a more fitting idea to Battle Royale. Now obviously if you're implementing cars then the map would obviously have to be bigger because the Fortnite map as you know it is just completely minuscule compared to 
games like H1Z1 or PUBG. So obviously if they were to implement cars into Fortnite Battle Royale, then I guess the map would have to be way bigger than the standard one. So I think the idea of cars being in Fortnite Battle Royale is kind of a cool idea to think about. But I think if they implemented some maps and were more suited to cars in general, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. My fourth feature in Fortnite that I would like to see later on in this year is the implementation of sticky grenades. So I guess you guys can all relate to this. Listen for a second. So grenades in Fortnite Battle Royale are very, uh, how do you say it, um, unreliable, I guess you could say, tricky to use. So if you've ever infiltrated a base or something, you've probably thrown a grenade at it just to weaken the base's defence and maybe knock down a wall or something instead of using your ammo. Or at least I've done that and uh, my grenades just bounce right off it and hit me in the face. But if you had sticker grenades in the game, which would be similar to, I don't know, like Call of Duty grenades, I guess. They're referred to as Semtex grenades, I believe. And if you were to throw a sticker grenade onto a base, it would stick onto the material, it would stick onto the object and then blow up the side of the base. And that would make it much easier to destroy objects and destroy bases instead of the grenade bouncing off an object and hitting you and destroying you and blowing you up. Because that's happened to me more times than I'd like to admit. Now, obviously these grenades would be have to be measured and would have to come in different rarities depending on the explosion radius and depending on the damage that they deal and the range of the explosion. But I think that would be a pretty cool idea if they maybe started in the rare category and then went up all the way to legendary. My fifth and final option that I would like to see implemented into Fortnite later this year is just a little one that I've thrown in there because I thought why not. Now even though Fortnite do this differently and Fortnite have their own way of implementing attachments to the game, I think adding in attachments that you could loot from different buildings would be pretty cool in some cases, such as finding like an extended mag, which would obviously increase the magazine capacity of the weapon that you're using, or possibly finding a holographic or a reflex sight which you could use so you can see further distances. Now for an example, PUBG also do this in their game. Now this obviously helps a lot more when you've got first person because sights obviously help you more and it's easier to spot enemies, but I think by implementing the use of attachments that you could attach to your weapons would be a pretty cool feature in some cases. Now I know the way Fortnite are doing it at the moment, while they're implementing certain and guns with certain attachments, like the silenced pistol that has just dropped to Fortnite recently. But I think if you could find a holographic or a reflex sight on the ground and you would be able to attach it to your gun, then I think that would be pretty cool because it would help a lot in gameplay. I don't think that's such a bad idea to be honest, I think that's a pretty cool idea. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna end my top 5 video of today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this top 5 video and want me to do more on my channel, make sure to give it a like and tell me in the comments section below. Make sure to comment hashtag NorthLSP to show your support for me joining North. And yeah, it's been your boy LSP Elite. Let's try and get this video to 30 likes. I'm pushing you guys. Let's try and hit 30 likes on today's video. You guys smashed my last video with a ton of support. I think we got something stupid like 27 likes. So let's see if we can get three more likes on today's video and see if we can hit 30 likes. I've never pushed you guys this far on my channel. So let's see if we can get 30 likes. So yeah, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and use the channel, and become one of the Elite Squad. And as always, it has been your boy LSP Elite. And I'm signing off. Peace. Have a nice day, guys. And bye. Ooh. I'm a rebel just for kicks now I've been feeling it since 1960